Oh, come on, chemists. Today, we're showing you a demonstration of Graham's Law. If you were here in class, you'd be doing this experiment for yourself. Unfortunately, you're stuck watching Mr. Moore and I do it for you. So here's the chemical reaction that we're taking advantage of. We have one gas that is ammonia, NH3, and a second gas that is hydrochloric acid, HCl. If you dissolve HCl in water, you get an acid, but in its pure state, it's a gas, and we're taking advantage of that. And if they meet, they react very easily to make ammonium chloride, which is a solid. And so what will happen then is we're going to start the gases down opposite ends of this tube, and wherever they meet, we'll end up with a smoke ring that will mark their meeting point. and then we'll know the distance each gas has traveled. Here's what the smoke looks like when the two gases come close to each other. That smoke is actually ammonium chloride being formed. This one is the ammonia. Okay, so ammonia. Yeah, this is the HCl. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to put some of a, each uh, liquid onto the cotton and then this is on the end of a stopper that will get inserted into the tube. And we're going to try to be careful to do this in a way so the stoppers go in at the same time so that the gases have equal time to travel. And I'm going to let Mr. Hevel pick this up because this is soaked with concentrated HCl now. Yes. He's much tougher than yeah. his colleague. I don't care about my skin. <laughs> okay, Mr. Moore, tell me when you're ready. Uh, we'll be ready. Students, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Gas is in. Actually, my fingers are burning a little bit. I'm going to go rinse my fingers off while we're waiting. <laughs> So the HCl is over here on the right. Uh, it's diffusing, it's uh, vapor is diffusing toward the ammonia. The ammonia is over here on the left, it's diffusing toward the HCl. Will these two gases meet in the middle? Will they meet right here where the clamp is? Are they going to meet over closer to the ammonia or the HCl? What does that depend on? Depends on how heavy the two gases are, the particles of the gases. The heavier a gas is, the slower its particles move. So, so now we're patiently waiting well, until we're trying we can to be see the smoke ring form. Where are you looking, Mr. Hevel? It looks like you're looking over closer to the HCl side. Uh, I am. Is that is that correct, Mr. Moore? Am I looking in the right place? Well, let's see. The HCl is a heavier molecule. The lighter ones move faster. I do. I'm kind of looking toward the light. We just see we have the front. You want side to rotate? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to see if this will help. Maybe if I'm not going toward the light. Would it help if I put some sort of background um, up here? I don't know. No, I don't think so. No. Are we seeing it yet? Sometimes, sometimes we do this as a lab. We would have done it with you guys as a lab and had you do it. And you'll just see this white ring form inside the tube. <laughs> it does show up. It just depends on how patient you are. Mr. Moore, I think oh, I see I, it. I just bumped it. That's okay. Mm -hmm. 
No problem. Yep, I see it too. Right there. Is it showing up in the video? Nope, it's not. Great. Well, right where Mr. Hebel's finger is. Now, Mr. Moore, if you come over here, I okay, got the okay. ring stand as a backdrop. I yeah, can, can see you, it here. Yep. Right there uh, at about 25 and a half centimeters. See that? Yep. Man, when I give it any angle, I yep, get Well, more I can glare, see it so. really good right yeah, now. Yeah, you can see that. So, yeah, there's our uh, line. So, now what do we do? Uh, how can we show that this demonstrates Graham's law? Okay, well, how far did each gas travel? So it looks like the HCL went, what do you think, Mr. Moore, 25 and a half, mm -hmm. do you want to call it? Looked like it, yeah. About 25 and a half centimeters. And if I go right from the end of the tube, what do we have, 30, maybe 36 and a half? Is my mental math right for the ammonia? What does that get us to? About 62 60, or so? Yeah, 61 and a half ish if I go right to the end of the tube. Okay. So 61 and a half minus 25 and a half. Mm -hmm. 36 and a half. Is that what you said? I think so. Mm -hmm. Or the halves cancel, so. 36. 30, well, no, 36 and a half and. Well, I went from here. Oh, yeah. What was your starting? Like 60, 62 is the end of the yeah, tube. Yeah, okay, okay. So, yeah. Okay. 25 and a half and All 36 right. and a half. So, show us how this works. Uh, the HCL was on that side. Uh, the 25 and a half is the HCL. Oops, I'm backwards, aren't I? Can't trust me. <laughs> okay, what do we say, Mr. Moore? 36 and a half. Yep. And distance from the HCL, about 25 and a half. Now, I believe because the time was equal from each gas, the mm -hmm. distance that they travel is proportional to their velocity. So we could treat the distance traveled as if it were a velocity. Distance and speed are proportional if the time is the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you think about Graham's law, right, we could alter it a little bit and So I'll put distance of ammonia over distance of HCl should be equal to the square root of the molar mass of HCl over the molar mass of NH3. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I just keep going here. Yep, that's fine. We got. Okay, so yep. you could have 36.5 centimeters over 25.5. Right. In theory, would be equal to. Square root of the molar mass of HCl, which is about 36.5, all over the molar mass of ammonia, which is about 17. Is that a coincidence that both numerators are 36.5? That is kind of funny. Yeah, it is kind of funny. <laughs> okay, so in theory, these would be a perfect match. Okay. I don't know if they are, but let's see. So 36.5 divided by 25.5 is a ratio of about 1.43 okay. 
Okay. To one. Okay. Let's see how the okay. Let's see if chemistry works. works. The gram the, he was talking about. Okay, so we're going to take the square root of 36.5 divided by 17. And it comes out to be about 1.47. Ah, is that close enough? That, that's pretty good in my book. <laughs> I think it one. is too. So we'd have to say Graham's Law appears to work very well. I love that. Chemistry is great. It is.